And to close out this episode, for those on YouTube, obviously you will have uh, the, the visual pleasure of seeing our SpaceX helmet. But anyone that's listening, you we created for Halloween, we want to create SpaceX helmets. So here is our Starman. We put foam on the inside to make it a little easier. Um, I had this visor made for me, vacuum formed by Wayne Newmeyer, who we've had on the podcast before. Uh, you can find him at A7L Props on Instagram. Um, and of course, he reminded me because I rush and uh, I'm terrible at planning. Um, apparently, there is also a film <laughs> on uh, this visor. So it was a little bit hard to, to look through. I was just like, oh, it's the frosted look. That would be great. Uh, hilariously, no, I am just uh, impatient. Um, so this was put together to get it, it done in time for Halloween. I definitely want to take uh, a little more time to really refine this and make this something presentable that we can take out. But I think the cool thing about 3D printed parts, especially costumes um, that we make with our 3D printing lab, AG 3D Printing, which helps fund this podcast, um, and do all the amazing stuff that we want to do with this podcast and, of course, bringing other people's ideas into reality, not just our own. 3D printing opens you up to a whole nother level of making things, right? And it doesn't even have to be... That, that's the, the great thing about what this shows is that it doesn't even have to be a perfect model. People get that it's real. How would you get this otherwise, right? How would you get this helmet if you didn't 3d print it um it's not within the ability of just everyday people right but 3d printing with these fff 3d printers we have at, with ag3d and at some point we will create a program so that you guys can do it at home too um which shouldn't stop you from reaching out to us if you are interested in getting a 3d printer i know a bunch of you already have but if you are even a little bit interested in getting involved in 3d printing at your own home please reach out to us um, either at Today in Space Pod on Instagram, um, Today in Space on TikTok, AG3D Printing on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I'm sorry, Instagram and Twitter. But here's our helmet. Uh, it's on a hinge, which is pretty cool, just like the real thing. I actually have to put my have to put my head in first. Um, and this is actually different. Wayne was telling me about this. So the real SpaceX helmet uh, is actually supported by the neck. Uh, the neck is actually what holds this in the right position. Um, so I had to kind of go around that, uh, use the foam and actually push my head a little bit forward. Um, but the really nice thing about this is that the helmet comes down and then the weight of the visor and the overall helmet actually pushes it down towards my chin. So it actually stays closed when I do this so that was kind of nice I got a lot of wows and uh, and cools for, by the kids that came by and actually did trick-or-treat so uh, so that was nice uh, but yeah this was this was fun I definitely think my head is still a little bit too big for this but the good thing is that uh, it was kind of like a temporary build right so I just used some spot welding of just like a little hot glue gun some gorilla glue sticks and uh, just kind of put certain corners. And so basically I can take this back apart, I can rework it and really make it something beautiful. Um, but I still got the experience of doing that on Halloween. So that's that's it folks. Uh, thank you for joining us this week. 